there, you all wanted cannabis to be legal, and I quite often get asked why cannabis is not legal, and it makes me wonder that you had a chance on election day, yet the percentage of votes don't match the number of you out there. The government surveys have proven that 90%, 90%, where we all know it's actually higher than 90%. Uh, there's only the few religious amongst our families that don't use. But the point is, there are so many of us out there, this could have been legal right now. You could have voted the right party in. The legalised cannabis party tried their hardest, and I mean tried their hardest, myself included. Most of us all disabled or medical users out there trying to fight to get it legalised for you as a recreation. But there's only one person that you can really blame for what is going on, and that's yourself. So from now on, when you say to somebody that's medically legal, oh, why is it legal for anybody else? Just turn around and stop, instantly stop and blame yourself because you are the one that didn't make this legal, not us. We tried our hardest, right? Many of us got out of sick beds to man election booths. Me, myself, personally, I ran around putting posters up, making sure the posters were on the, as many booths as I could physically get to. Um, with a bum knee, bum back, yeah, and sick at the same time. And I still got off my ass and went out and helped to help you so that you don't get arrested next time you go and pick up your supply and driving home with it. Yet I can go to the chemist and I can get my supply, drive home, and the officer pulls me over, tests me, finds out I haven't used for a while because I don't drive when I use. And, yeah, so you've got to ask yourselves, why it's not legal, it's because of you and only because of you. You've had a chance. It's New South Wales governments that's stopping the legalisation in the state. It's every other state government doing the same thing. You had a chance to make this legal and yet you failed. You failed to make your vote count. And that's stupid. You could have made this legal in a heartbeat. Yes, our main agenda was to legalise cannabis. But we know for a fact there are many other things out there that need fixing. And we could have done that if voted in. Yes, some of us look like hippies. So what? It's not hard for us to put on a suit when we go into Parliament and those of us that did win a seat are wearing suits now. Why? Because that's part of the job. And if you had elected the right party in, you wouldn't have to fear arrest because that's now what you've got to do for the next four years, folks, is fear arrest. You could have been sitting at home, spacing out, having a cone and not fearing arrest. But no, for the next four years, until we get it legalised for you, yeah. And you can't just put it up to the few of us that are medically legal. We could turn around and say, look, what the fuck? We could just turn around and say, forget about it. They didn't vote, so let them suffer. We could do that. Yet, do you know what the party's doing? The party's already planning for the next election. So if you don't vote for the next election, you're a nut. Because Legalised Cannabis Party is trying to legalise cannabis as the first agenda, yes. But we know there are many, many other problems out there and we could easily fix them because we actually had enough candidates... Sorry, we had enough candidates to make it matter. And yet you sat on your backsides and thought, oh, no, we'll vote for this shit party. Because that's what they really are. They've never done anything. They've promised to legalise it. They've always promised to legalize Oh, yeah, I've been a lobbyist for over 20 years. And I get that every time. Oh, we're working our best to get it legal for you, mate. But nothing, nothing has ever bloody happened. And I mean nothing has ever bloody happened. So when you ask, oh, how come it's not legal? It should be legal. Blame your fucking self.